Hey guys, welcome back to more Dog's Life. This is Chapter 3, Part 4. And this is Boom City Center. It's one part, I've sped the whole video up, everything, very slightly. I mean, less than about 5%, but it made up the difference to be under 15 minutes. And I don't want to go into two parts for the sake of about 2 or 3 minutes, so... Yeah. You know, it's not too far off what you'd expect the speed to be. So it's not unbearable to look at. Um, before you do any of the missions, try and get the scents like usual. For purple scents, you want 44 before you do the, the burglar mission. That's the burglar you can hear talking. He's on top of that walkway. Uh, you want to get all the other coloured scents done pretty quickish. I'm going to leave the. Gimme, gimme, gimme! The perp. No, the violet scents, um Till. the end. Got a took a war again. I've got more bones than this guy. Time to have a little fun. Three, two, one, go! Tug a war. Very, very easy. But yeah, um, I'm gonna leave the the violet scents till the end because they are actually the that's probably the hardest thing left in the game at this point because the last two areas are very easy, very very easy. Dog pounds easy. Dog pounds easy, and the. What's it called? The finale. Yeah. How how did I forget that one? Yep. Derp on me. Right. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Finale. That easy as well. So no need to worry about that. The game on it to, on the whole isn't hard. Be like taking candy from a baby. Three, two, one, go. It really isn't. Oh, look at this. This is racing perfection. Look at that. Look at the way he weaves. Look at those slinky hips. Yeah, no bestiality in these videos. Yeah, just try to decapitate us with that though. Thanks. That's great. Look at this. This is just brilliant. I'm racing it's either a Labrador or a Greyhound. I'm not sure. I don't bother to check these things up. I don't know a lot about dogs. You don't have to know a lot about dogs to know how this game works. I'm guessing it helps. Look at this. Look at the slinky hips as he weaves in and out. Oh yes. Eat my dust. Oh yeah. 103 to 0. Uh-huh. Yeah. Took me till the last race in the game. But I got every single snack without missing one. I couldn't even do that to the Chihuahua in the first level. But I did that to him or her. Yes. Still got some purple scents to pick up. There aren't actually any down here. But there's a bone down here. And a mission down here. And the kennel's down here as well. Pick up the bone which is randomly oh, sitting there. Terrific. We'll go and head over and get the bone from the kennel, which is just here. Mm, bones. I haven't sped up the video that much. That dog is actually that fast. He's super fast. And it's his speed is the reason why I actually need him. Because for one of the missions you actually need uh, to bark at the burglar and then run around the other side before he gets there and uh, steal his bag. Steal his loot, I suppose. And uh, yeah, that's basically the mission, so you need him to be super fast. Most of them seem to be in basically the same areas on the road around the building. Not too difficult to spot. But as I said before, you need 44 before you can advance on to do the missions, I suppose. So I like to get the sense out of the way first and then I can focus on the missions. We're on this three. 
One, two, three. Okay, I haven't missed any. As I said before, the violet scent is probably the hardest thing left in the game, but it's still not hard. So we're going to leave that till last. It doesn't help that it's really foggy because you can't really see where you're going. We're actually going to do the the card game mission first for the Russian or the Polish guy or whatever nationality he is. I lost all my money in crooked card game. I know that guy was cheating me, but how did he do it? You know, forget it. Aha! Your day is a number, dog! Ventriloquism at its best. He didn't move at all. And that's not just because it's a PS2 game that with bad graphics. No, he's a ventriloquist. That was what's supposed to happen. Yeah. See, I think it makes more sense for him to be out of there and then go to the dog pound entrance to guard it, because that's the last time you should see him, really. Apart from in the dog pound. I think it makes more sense. But I think if you upscaled that Russian guy, or the Serbian guy, or Polish guy, whatever he is, to HD and turn Jake into Nico Bellic, he could quite easily be in GTA 4. I can't believe I lost again. Hey, give that back. That's my lucky deck. An extra deck of cards? Why, you lousy cheat! These cards bring me good luck, that's all. They'll bring you a punch in the mouth, you rotten liar! I'll tell you what, uh, let's have a nice drink and talk this over. Well, okay, I never could resist a free drink. <laughs> this is my chance to help myself to the money. My money! You are good dog after all! I am sorry for my rudeness. Please, take this. I'm starting to have quite an impressive collection of bones. I tell you what, like, that guy had That's magical cards. He was holding the cards in the air without holding them. Come on, that is pretty good. <laughs> the cards were just stationary, fixed in the air. And his hand moves around the cards. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, limitations for you. Wouldn't see that in any PS3 game. But you know, anybody who's watching this, you're probably watching this either because you're a fan of me for whatever reason. I don't get the whole fan thing. Why is he so fast? I can't catch him. Anyways, erm, um, yeah. Or you want dogs like videos. Ah, oh, outsmarted by the Greyhound or the Labrador or whatever it is. I, I think it's supposed to be a Greyhound because the Labrador... A Labrador isn't that fast. A Greyhound's fast. It looks sort of like a Greyhound, so I'm guessing it's a Greyhound. But the girl who dislikes pedigree... I'm going to keep making that joke until the end of the, of the guide or the Let's Play. Uh, we'll set me straight on that. Just gotta find the dog now. If I remember correctly, it started a car pile up down here. So look for the cars. Because it should be around there. Can you believe it, people? We're actually moving on to the penultimate area in the next video, which is tomorrow. Because I'm uploading this on, it should be Tuesday. So, so that'll be Tuesday the 26th, I think. Yep, here it is. This is the car pile up, and the dog is just like standing head to bumper with a taxi for some reason. Basically, all you've got to do in this mission is stand under where the burglar is. Partner of mine. And just bark. Oh, come on, keep it down, will ya? And walk. Oh, come on, keep it down, will ya? And bark. Shh, 
Walk and bark. Walk and bark. And run. Just run. I haven't sped this up anymore. That's actually how fast he runs. <laughs> and grab. I mean, technically that guy's a gun, you could just shoot us, but nope. Smart pooch, that's the loot, okay? Wait here while I arrest that unlucky punk. I surrender, just don't send that darn dog in again. Detecting Pooch, you are now an honorary police dog. Here's an official bone. The highlight of my distinguished career. Well, at, last. at least it didn't run over the bone again. Anyways, the last six purple cents should be up on top of here, so just collect them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. I'll just let you know, that's actually the last purple cent in the game. No more. That's it. Every single one. There are no more scents at all in the game. We never need to go back into smell a vision after we do the violet scents. The violet scents are actually the last scents in the game. They were the last purple scents in the game. If I'm right, it's this building which has the. Yep, yeah, there it is. Now I start the timer. This one can be a bit tricky if you don't know where you're going. Right. There's two. Three. Where is it? There it is. Four. One behind here. Just to break down that wall. There it is. Five. Stinky smells. It's what life's all about. Where's number six? Six is behind me. Six. Seven is there. Eight. Here, nine will be in the building up here. Yep, there it is. Nine. Gotta go head back where we were before. Ten. 11 will be up here. And there it is. One more. And we've got 38 seconds to find it. And it's actually just along here. No, where I was going. Turn around me. Turn around me. Well done. Giving myself less time than I had originally. And it's actually up here. Jump in, jump in, for some reason it wasn't jumping, jump in, there we go. That's the last scent in the game, that is the last scent in the game. So if you don't like the scents, then lucky for you, there's no more in the game after that. But the game's basically finished anyway, so there's not a huge amount of time you're going to spend without the, without the um, scent in the game. There are still bones, because as I said, there's 125 in the game. So, we are still missing some. I think there's nine in the dog pound. Mm, bones. Yeah, Bone nine in the dog delicious. pound. Because we have 116. So that's the end of the video. Um, I will see you next time for more Dog's Life when I head to the dog pound. See you guys then. The end is near.